So this is a demo of the TomTom Tom car kit for the iPhone using the Navigon software. So I uh, bought Navigon when it first came out and a lot of folks like Navigon. It has great reviews. I too like it. It's a great piece of software. And then the TomTom Tom mount came out and there were a lot of questions around the, in, uh, the included GPS chip in there uh, and does it work with Navigon. So this is a demo to show you that it does. So for uh, the demo, this is a um, old iPhone um, with a silver back. So this is a four gigabyte iPhone and uh, this is a 2G iPhone. So it does not have um, GPS in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this in. Okay, great, it's in. So let's, uh, this is the, um, the TomTom tool. And you can see that there's no service on this. Uh, it's an old phone, so there's no service, so it's not using triangulation. It's just using the GPS uh, in the TomTom -tom kit. So if we go ahead and uh, launch the GPS, I guess it would help to plug it in. So let's plug it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once the, the mount is powered, you can see that the GPS comes uh, right on. Uh, those bars are showing that it's finding the satellite. You can see that the lat and longitude are coming in. And there, it's finally got the fix, six a little bit. Um, but the blue shows you that everything's good to go. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and launch Navigon. So we'll wait a second while Navigon loads up. So here we are. Okay, uh, so 13th Street. So this is, uh, again, a, a 2G iPhone, uh, one of the ones that doesn't have GPS built in, in the TomTom -tom mount, and uh, it's uh, finding that we're on 13th Street. So we'll go ahead and drive around a little bit and uh, watch it track. So off we go. So you can see that the miles per hour is registering and uh, the street is updating. So it works uh, the same as with a 3G or 3GS uh, iPhone. So one of the things that's interesting is uh, that, that they don't advertise that this would work because I'm sure there's a lot of folks that have a older iPhone that would love to um, love to use this. So we're now on 12th Street. And you see it's tracking fine. So we'll go ahead and pull over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back. So we'll uh, just enter it in the Take Me Home profile. I'll compute this, and we'll uh, have it navigate. In 500 feet, you will reach your destination. So we'll go ahead. So we're going the opposite way that it wants us to go here. You see it reroutes. Now, turn right onto 30th Avenue North. So we just went on 30th, I'm going to go on 13th. Now, turn right, one, two, 13th Street North. So this In 500 feet, turn right, one, two, 32nd Avenue North, then turn left, one, two, 12th Street North. Now, turn right, one, two, 32nd Avenue North. Turn left, 1 2, 12th Street North. In 150 feet, you will reach your destination.
destination. And there we are, right? You have reached your destination. Okay, so one last thing to show. This is uh, Motion X GPS. Let's go ahead and start this up. So you can see again a uh, GPS signal, uh, which is working fine. And if we take this out of the mount, so as soon as it comes out, GPS signal, GPS signal's gone. It's nothing. We'll go ahead and put it back in. As soon as it in, it gets the GPS again. So the the TomTom -tom mount is great. Um, a lot of people complain about the price, but uh, it's a very sturdy map, very well built, has uh, hands-free um, uh, speakerphone for you, and the GPS mount. GPS mount works great on a 3G or 3GS. It certainly improves the performance of Navigon, uh, get a little bit better tracking and faster to acquire the signal, um, and it works on, a, on an older iPhone. I don't know why they don't advertise that, but it uh, works fine. Um, same performance you'd find on a newer phone. Uh, so that's the demo.